hi welcome back if you're new here i'm lizzie and today i'm going to talk to you about coffee shops in lisbon so i stayed in lisbon for about two months and that means there's a lot of time to go to some co-workings coffee shops etc and before i came to lisbon i had a bit of a google and there were a lot of blog posts about which coffee shops to go to but they were all pre-covid so you didn't know if the coffee shop still existed, if it survived, even though there were not that many tourists. And it turned out not a lot of them did, or a lot of them changed their target audience. So one coffee shop I was super excited about because it was in every single blog post was Hello Christoph. And walked all the way there and Lisbon is very hilly, just be aware. So after a long walk, I arrived there walk inside and I see on every single table like no laptop, no laptop and then I made an awkward eye contact with one of the waitress there did an awkward u-turn and left because I was like I need to do some work and I feel a bit weird going in there with my laptop obviously in my hand but then they were just like laughing a little bit so I think they're probably used to all the people coming in and then leaving so I went to another place which was nearby same thing happened like no laptop signs on the table I was like okay you know what i screwed the list that i had and i'm just gonna go for a walk and see what's there that's what i did and here are the coffee shops i came across but first subscribe and yeah coffee shops you might have heard of selena maybe you haven't it's basically a co-living with several locations all over the world since it's a co-living if you walk by one wherever you are um, chances are there's a restaurant or a coffee shop. I actually came across Selena by accident. I didn't know they had one in Lisbon, but since it's a um, very high nomad city, it kind of makes sense. So after I went to the Christoph and all the tables had like no laptop signs, um, I went down a different route and um, just came across the sign saying Wi-Fi, coffee. And I was like, okay, cool, um, I'll go. Yeah, the atmosphere was super nice and the people there were super friendly, a bunch of people on the laptop so you don't feel awkward and they were also very approachable so um, I just asked the girl who I sat next to about uh, what the Wi-Fi password was and then we started chatting and stuff and like I feel like in some other places um, it's usually like no, give you information and then everyone's back in their zone but there, um, maybe because it's a co-living and the people there specifically go to meet other people, it felt just like more of a friendly um, atmosphere. Just keep in mind, and that's um, probably across the whole of Lisbon, the service is pretty slow, but specifically slow in Selena. So just for reference, we ordered lunch because we stayed there for a bit, um, and pretty much around 12. And at 12.30, um, that's usually like half an hour, usually you get your food by that time, especially salads. We ordered salads, so that's usually the quickest things people make on the menu. Then at 12.30, the waiter came back um, confirming our order, so he didn't even put it in the system or um, he didn't even put the order in or I don't know. Anyway, um, and then the food arrived like almost at 2 o'clock, so like two hours after we ordered it, and then it was the wrong food. So. Um, yeah, so just keep that in mind. Maybe we're just very unlucky. I don't think it was that crazy busy at the time that we went there, but you never know. It was um, like, could be that there's a staff shortage, it's just quite common nowadays. So, yeah, either way, I went back to Selena several times because I actually like um, working from there. Um, it is a bit noisy if you wanted to have a call, maybe that's not great, but um, yeah, and they have plugs everywhere, so everything you need. And yeah, definitely go check that one out. Another place that was mentioned in a lot of the blog posts that I looked at when I did my research was Komova. It was actually still um, a good place to work from. Wi-Fi worked, there were no uh, signs on the tables to not put your laptop there. So I went to check it out. Um, as with a lot of the other places, if you go there around lunchtime or brunch time, so like any time between 10 to 1, 2, it is super busy and difficult to get a table and maybe it's not the best to work from there because you also feel a bit guilty occupying a table when there's a queue building up outside and everyone's staring at you because they want you to leave. If you go early afternoon, so I went there around maybe 2, 3 o'clock, I got a table at the back, it was still busy but there was no queue. So they seated me outside in the garden and they had 5G internet and the normal internet I tried to connect to the 5G, it was still a bit dodgy, but maybe that was because I was sitting outside. It was enough for what I had to do that day, I didn't have any calls scheduled. Um, so maybe it's different if you sit inside, maybe the internet is a little bit stronger there. The food is really good, the options they have, that was nice. 
it's definitely worth going there for the food. I'm actually planning to do a video for good places to go for brunch for in Lisbon. So if I've already done it, I will link the show notes. If I've not done it, um, maybe wait a little bit or maybe that's a good time to follow and subscribe and um, add this notification thingy so you'll see when I release a new video. The only thing, but that's actually quite common in restaurants in Lisbon, what I've noticed, the service was a little bit slow. Uh, not as slow as in Selena, but still somewhat slow. But as soon as you order, the food and the drinks arrive fairly quickly. So it's more like about getting the waiter's attention. But once you got that, it's a great place. Mokti is a really nice place to work from. It isn't actually a coffee shop, it's more like a hotel lobby. But from what I gathered throughout the whole nomading I've done, Hotel lobbies are actually quite a good place to work from. I really, really like Moxie. It is quite quiet. There are still people. There are actually a lot of people with their laptops there too. And it feels almost like a co-working space, but you've got a bar there so you can order some food, some snacks, some drinks. They had this football table there. So if there's like some children or something, it might get a little bit loud. There were like two sections. So as you walk in through those um, rotatable road door like those gates you'll you know what i mean once you get there and you walk past the reception or like actually that restaurant there is an area like slightly up the stairs where you have a lot of plugs as well and it's like a long desk where you can work from or you can go past the main bit of the restaurant and go to the very back there's also a quiet area to work from i felt like you could have a work call from there um, maybe not a very important one, but it wasn't very noisy. It was like the average chatter that you get in a restaurant. The music, there was music, but it wasn't super loud. The food wasn't crazy amazing. I mean, we just had um, some wraps or something, but I mean, that was fine. And yeah, I really enjoyed working from there. Unfortunately, I didn't take any pictures while I was there, but I add a link to their website and you can see it's, it's quite nice. Yeah, it was a nice place to work from. It's a little bit outside the center. Um, maybe that's why it was quiet, but I definitely recommend checking that place out. Another place that um, was in a lot of blog posts, and if you do your research you will come across it, is called Copenhagen. There are a bunch of Copenhagen coffee shops all across Lisbon, but I actually didn't have such a good experience there. So first of all, they're quite overpriced, so basically anything between 4 and 5 euros for coffee. If you go to the local small barista next door, which is a Portuguese um, local business, you get an espresso for like 60 cents. The thing with Copenhagen, like it's fancy, they have milk alternatives, which you don't usually get in uh, the average coffee shop, so you just have dairy milk. So there you get all the fancy almond, whatever stuff, latte, dirty chai, everything you want, but it is quite pricey. Anyway, don't be fooled by all the people you see there on their laptops, because there's so many of them, like so many, not the people too, but so many Copenhagen um, coffee shops and they were in all these vlogs that it's a place to work from. But the Wi-Fi didn't actually work in most of the places that I went to and I went, I think, to like three, four different Copenhagens before I gave up. It's not great. So either you, the Wi-Fi shows, but you can't connect to it, or if you do connect to it, it's very, very slow, like extremely slow that you even have to wait for emails to load and that's usually just text. I don't actually recommend working from there. Maybe I just went to the three, four bad branches, but I didn't really like it. But the coffees are good if you are happy to spend that much money on it. Also, they don't really promote it, but you can get like a stamp card. So if you're there for longer, definitely get one of those stamp cards. And after I think it was 10 or 12 coffees, you get the free one, so like the typical thing. Yeah, so once I got my free coffee, I got their most expensive dirty chai, uh, milk alternative, whatever, which came to about six, seven euros for a coffee. But yeah, I got the one for free because of that stamp card. Yeah, and if they don't have it there, you can just take it. Just ask the staff if they have one of those stamp cards, just in case you get hooked by it. I, I met this girl there who went to Copenhagen every day because she liked it so much. So yeah, up to you. I didn't like working from there, but let me go. Ha have a try. Maybe you're lucky and find a branch where the Wi-Fi actually works. I actually really, really love this place. It's really good for brunch. Like there are so many good food options in Lisbon. It's, it's crazy, but it's a brunch place where you can also work from. Again, like with a lot of the other places, if you go there at busy brunch lunch times, it's busy. There is actually very often a long queue outside, so it might not be worth going there. But if you go in the afternoon, um, there is like a bigger table at the back towards the bathrooms in the back of the restaurant 
and there might be a person already sitting there on the laptop you can just join them the internet seemed pretty fine to me I didn't have any calls so I don't know 100% but it was fine for what I had to do and I was working with a lot of Figma files and heavy data loading and stuff so it loaded fairly quickly so I think that was good I had the best brownie there it was so beautiful with the edible flowers and it actually tastes as good as it looks so I highly recommend that one I went there with a friend so also to prove that I'm actually sitting in those coffee shops here's an awkward picture of me that she took if you do end up going there and when you arrive you see the big queue there is another brunch place like a side street away from it called Mill South Borders or something I don't know I'll link it in the notes it's isn't as popular there was no queue we instantly got seated and it's quite a nice cozy little restaurant um, I think you can work from there I didn't work there because I ended up going there for brunch because the food was so good um, in Nicolau but because there was a long queue we ended up in the other place but the other place was still very nice so just in case you happen to go there and you're hungry and you're starving and there's a queue it might be worth continuing on the main road and getting to the other restaurant because nobody wants to be hangry so yeah just as an alternative but generally I really enjoyed working from there especially in the afternoon it didn't feel like people didn't want you there or something and yeah food is great drinks are good nice atmosphere highly recommend Flora and Fauna is actually a chain restaurant they have a few different branches across Lisbon and as the name suggests there's a lot of plants around there which is why I really like this place it's super cute you feel very at home well I, I feel very at home with all the flowers but again it's like one of those places during lunchtime and brunch time it is very busy they did actually tell me that between 12 and 3 p.m. they don't want to have people there with their laptops so if you go anytime before 12 or anytime after 3 you'll be fine the branch I went to is the one in Anjos because I was also in a co-working space there. I will do another videos about actual co-workings, not just coffee shops to work from in Lisbon because there were quite a few good opportunities. There's actually one called Second Home. I love that place so much. I got there for free for one day. They don't have day passes, unfortunately, but yeah, I'll, I'll do another video on those co-workings. If I've already done it, I'll link it. If there is no link yet, um, subscribe so you can save the channel for later and know when I release another video about it. But anyway, Flora and Fauna is a really nice place to work from, the internet was good, the food options are amazing, the food was delicious, um, atmosphere was nice. They didn't have many plugs there, yeah, definitely go there, have a nice little snack there, have the coffee. It's a little bit noisy but mainly from the chatter and I was there like around 2 p.m. and the waitress asked me very politely if I could put away the laptop but I can bring it out again from 3 which is also why I know about the 12 until 3 o'clock rule yeah and again if you don't get into the branch crowd it's a really nice place to work from I had um, an urgent call that I forgot about and I was in the city luckily I had my laptop with me um, but I wasn't anywhere near the coffee shops or where uh, I was going to before it was lunchtime as well and it was quite busy so I just strolled around and looked if there was like a nice place and I found a restaurant um, where there wasn't actually a single person with a laptop inside but I just asked them if they have Wi-Fi and if I could work from there and I mean keep in mind it's lunchtime and you know like other places don't actually allow you to work there during lunchtime but they were like yeah fine if you're happy with a smaller table and they gave me like a small round table I was working from there Wi-Fi was pretty good so yeah so that place it's called Cotidiano or something, I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly. But it's actually quite a good location, it's not far um, that gate and that plaza where you see the river and stuff. And yeah, I actually ended up having lunch there after my call, which was nice. It was like some crisps and like kind of like breakfast burger stuff, it, it was good. The staff was very friendly, a nice atmosphere, I was the only person on the left up there. I would, I would go there again to work if you're... If you don't get uncomfortable if you're the only person on the laptop but who knows maybe i was just there at the time because it was lunch time um where nobody else was on the laptop but that place was really nice i went to cafe de garage mainly because the girl that i met surfing um, told me about this and it looked really nice on her pictures and it was actually a place that was also mentioned in a lot of the blog posts that i looked at before going there the views are amazing the coffee is all right it was very milky and it, it wasn't warm the internet was actually quite slow i had like a potential new client interview there and ended up having to go somewhere else because it ate up all my data because i ended up doing that call on my phone 
and yeah that wasn't ideal however if you just go to do some copywriting or any kind of task where you don't require fast internet the internet is there it's just not fast but the views are very worth going there it's a really nice atmosphere there are some other people um, on the laptops and you get drinks and foods and yeah the, the view is worth going there but also keep in mind it's Lisbon so anywhere where there's a view you have to go uphill so if you have a heavy laptop like me maybe you want to plan around not going there when it's super hot yeah definitely worth checking it out after Café de Garage I did not have proper Wi-Fi I was on the way back to my co-living space just to make sure I have a good and stable connection and on the way there we walked past this restaurant with this nice view and we were like okay let's let's go check it out we still have a little bit more time before the next call it was a restaurant called some called some Beza. I'm so bad with pronouncing things we asked if they had Wi-Fi and they were like yeah come and sit it was like 4 or 5 p.m. so it wasn't um, crazy busy for restaurants anyway the views there were amazing, we ended up having a few snacks, the food was really good and I was surprised the Wi-Fi was good too. So yeah, it was around 4-5 p.m. and they didn't mind us sitting there at all, it wasn't crazy busy, there were maybe like 3-4 other tables, but more like tourists, so like one was a couple, one was like a family and another group was like a bunch of friends, so I think they were just other tourists in Lisbon. Um, no other person on the laptop, but they didn't mind us working from there. The service was nice, I mean, <laughs> slow. Well, they weren't actually that slow, so I have to give them that. The service was actually decent. The view was amazing, I mean, it wasn't far from Café de Garage, so you, you can imagine that the view is kind of similar, so it's um, to get there you have to go uphill, or there's also an elevator there. There are a few hidden, ele not really hidden, if you know where they are, you can find them. But um, there are a lot of elevators across Lisbon because it is so hilly, so you can go in one side street, take the elevator up, and then um, you saved yourself all the stairs and you're just the street parallel next to it. That, that place is one of those, so the elevator is actually inside the Pingo Dose, which is a supermarket. So you go in there, you go through, go into the dodgy elevator, um, go up and you more or less arrive at the restaurant. There were like two around there, so like just walk a bit further and then two or two left. And you have the one that I'm talking about with the view. Really, really nice place. Yeah, definitely go check that one out. The view is nice. Have some drinks, enjoy the sunsets from there. Um, really, really nice place to work from. You might get distracted and might end up not wanting to work. So I actually, after I finished my call, I just chilled there. We had some nice dinner and yeah, nice place. I'm probably gonna pronounce the name of this place wrong, but it's Cafe something something. Mahmoud. I'll put it in the comments below. Um, a super nice place for food. I actually only went there because one of my clients from the UK happened to go on holiday in Lisbon. So we said, oh, let's meet in real life and catch up. He was there with a few friends, so I didn't take pictures because it would have been super awkward to like, oh, hello client, hello friends, I don't know, can I take some pictures from my YouTube channel, you know? So there's no pictures of that, but the food was amazing. I had food before with another friend before I joined them, so I didn't eat, but based on their reactions, Food was really really good they had like prosciutto um this burrata thing so like italian restaurant but based on their reactions i was like i should not have eaten before so i went there again another day just to have like a quick brunch and coffee and work from there and again i forgot to take a picture but it's a really nice place and yeah highly recommend going there it's actually near one of the roads that you probably walk past i think it was near where the library is the uh, one of the oldest running libraries then you go out of that main busy road up the hill again another hill in Lisbon and then you're there there were one or two other people working when I came the second time around internet felt stable again I didn't have a call so I don't know but yeah also a really nice place Nana is a little bit of a hidden gem it's um, a bit outside of the central like the usual tourist center from Lisbon it is situated in the university area, so you actually find a lot of nice little coffee shops and places there because students also have to work from somewhere. It's not just nomads that want to go eat, drink and work there from the laptop. They had cute little signs, like kind of like working hard, hardly working kind of style on the table. And it was a very Instagrammable place, so like with this kind of fake marble fluffy clouds, pink fonts and stuff, so yeah, it's a very girly instagram place, but it's quite cute. It might be a little bit out of the way, depending on where you're staying. The coffee was also quite cute, they had like a little message on it, I've not seen places doing that before. 
I mean, it's probably pre-printed and it's just put it on top. It's not like something handmade, as you can tell from the picture. But it was quite cute to have that on the coffee. They also had like an acai bowl and stuff. And yeah, comfortable seat. Nice to work from. Highly recommend if you're in the area to go work from there. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for making it this far. And now you know a bunch of coffee shops to check out while you're in Lisbon. If you go there, let me know how you found them. If there's any other coffee shops that I didn't mention, just put them in the comments below and I'll check them out when I'm next in Lisbon. There were a few other places that some friends have recommended to me while I was there, but I didn't manage to check them out. So I'll put them in the comments below. Maybe you want to have a look and see how they are. I don't know if the Wi-Fi and stuff is stable there or if they have Wi-Fi or if there are any no laptop signs. And of course, if you come across any other coffee shops to check out, please just add them in the comments and I'll check them out when I'm back in Lisbon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time.